what I'm trying to do here is use the tie up laser to excite uh, two photon absorption either on uh, on a camion uh, uh, a camion oxide, okay, or syn selenide, uh, in which case you have the two photon absorption process. But I want to study the two photon absorption in extremely high intense electric fields. So I'm looking for modulation of the absorption, uh, the two photon absorption coefficient, which is the nonlinear coefficient, in the intense electric field. It's basically, the nonlinear Frank Caldish effect. Okay. So, and also at 1.5 microns, which is a fiber laser they have, also I'm looking into the two photon absorption in silicon. And the reason why I'm interested in it is because uh, people are trying to build a silicon lasers, okay, uh, based on the Raman effect. And one of the uh, fundamental limits in the efficiency of these lasers are two photon absorption in silicon. So, trying to look at the two photon absorption to see how you can either enhance it or suppress it using a, a strong electric field. Uh, and that's one part of the experiment. Uh, the other part of the experiment is uh, the one that I'm going to use the ties up uh, from Delmar Photonics, uh, which is basically a pump pro experiment. And what I'm looking into is a relaxation time of uh, uh, electrons in metal nanoparticles on surfaces, uh, particularly on uh, silicon oxide or silicon surfaces, uh, for different uh, as a function of the particle diameter and as a function of the metal itself. So. We're looking at two common metals they use in plasmonics. One is um, uh, silver, and the other one is cobalt. Those are the ones that we are uh, planning to use the laser for. And here's the setup. I have the compro open. In fact, before I uh, got the laser, I was using another tie south laser. And we were looking into the relaxation time of electrons and metal nanoparticles. And the, basically, the sample is right there. Okay. So. I really shoot my laser, my two laser beams, uh, and then hit it there with a pump prop experiment. And this one is uh, second harmonic generation to do the autocorrelation of the laser itself before I use it.